Alright, so. Last time we were in a pretty big fucking pickle. If I. If I hadn't won those few last sieges, uh, we would have lo would have lost everything. I think. Okay, good. The game loaded actually. So yeah, did we peace out her? No, we just didn't peace out them. But basically, we were at war with the Northern Empire. Right? And the Western. They almost took that twice. And I took the, that off of the Western or the Northern Empire, I think. And they were besieging Poros, too. I almost got nuked. Almost. I think I need to change the difficulty back up. Because there was no fucking way I was gonna win that battle. At the end there. I think I even tried to get the battle on the bridge there. And I didn't get into the position right. Or maybe that's version uh, in the next patch. This is 1.5.8, not 0.9. So that may be, you know, reserved for that. Or it even came in, I actually know, I didn't read the patch notes. We do need to check up on the garrison recruiter though. Training. Let's actually lower this. Because they do cost a lot. Even though they're in the garrison. I'm not gonna create any more guards. Right, we do need to manage, manage these. Workshop, Castellian office. Village growth, festivals and food housing. Um, I think we need loyalty or food. We need to increase the prosperity. So housing then? I do need to build everything else up then after this. We do have 6k, so let's dump a little bit in there. Let's see about her. No, not the garrison. Where the fuck did she get all these? No, it doesn't matter. Uh, manage the castle, yeah. Casualty workshop. Seems like everything's more or less fine. Or they dump points into here. Check something. Is this the only fives we have? That's r oh right. We lost the no. I gave up the other one actually. I think I was yeah. I was holding this and I gave it up. Okay, so we do have food. Yeah, sixty-two days. We have the infantry. So I let's because let's go and help out our guys over there. Refuse. Jesus, what the fuck are you? Well, the slave army again. Let's beat them real quick. I 
think they're gonna charge straight in, so should we get just staying here? Well, they actually have cap this time. Yeah, it's gonna take a while for them to get here. Do they really have archers? Apparently they do. Troops, too. Some pretty decent ones at that. Let's kill the archers. Try to kill the archers. What's the difference between like high tier troops and the low tier ones? These ones just don't retreat ever. I uh, guess I'll kill them. Oh, these are gonna go for a pretty penny too. What's our nearest castle? Well, we really need to stop by the nearest one, right? Can go up there. I can fucking click on it. You <laughs> daily call change. Oh, we're bleeding money, literally. And I'm plus paying for all the shit our guys buy. The garrison recruits. 22 troops to one of the castles. Nice. Not bad. So let's see. Sell them off. The alone. You think you can make a lot of money just by killing parties and selling off the stuff you get from them. Maybe I should look, look into actually buying enterprises for a change. Since I usually don't do that. Okay, let's see. Can we actually call in an army? Well, kind of. That's it. See if we can grab a castle. Oh, 
What's this? Another sl what? Yep, another slave army. And he actually thinks he can win too. That was gonna be pretty fucking easy. Follow me. Especially since we have a hill. So disappointed in myself. Alright. Leave them in line formation until they get to the actual position. Infantry. So they're not slow as fuck. And face that way, you may you maniacs. You wanna get stabbed in the back? Jesus fucking Christ. And again, these are gladiators, they're supposed to do damage to me. Are they... Why the fuck aren't they shooting at anything? took a lot of damage from something. I guess I'll just kill all these. Rebel commanders. We can't actually crucify them, right? So let's at least cut their heads off. Actually, tell us how. Sent the hours one. Oh, fucking hell. Well, thankfully, we didn't need that many. The motherfucker left the army. What? Why? Never mind, I guess. I'm gonna besiege this all on my own, I guess. Let me just get the upgrades in. Guy's just gonna ignore us. I'm fine with that. You gonna attack or not? Okay, never mind, they're coming in. Let's see if I can get a more favorable position. Alright, we need to take this guy out before they join him. If we could actually catch up to him. Which you can. Oh, I... How long am I gonna be? Okay, that was. Yeah, this is a bit creepy. <laughs> How long am I gonna be fighting the uh, skirmisher armies? Can you do whatever the fuck you want. Okay, they're the, the defenders, but um, 
looks like they're gonna charge in since they have the skirmish cav. Okay, you guys just shield wall. You just stay put for now. I mean, they're gonna come that close. Looks like they have Roman infantry though. Which may prove a pain in the ass. No? Well, the shields were green, so that fucking threw me off a little bit. Get them in a different formation. This the triangle one, whichever one that was. Their infantry is pretty much recruits, they're gonna die instantly. Yep. Do we have a big army coming after us after we kill this one? Using the sword is definitely not optimal for this. Should just go for their horses and slit seems like in one shot most of them. All of them. I do wish there was a mod for only a Roman music though instead of the Roman and medieval tune. Rome the end medieval to the lower music. Kill only one death, not bad. Did we take in any of those? Hopefully, I mean, they have enough to actually kill me off here. They just didn't run away. F. Okay, now they're attacking. And we're, like, on an island in between two bridges. So, let's see what happens on the map. 
hopefully I'm gonna get a favorable position. Which seems like I did. Kind of. Footman! Forward! Footman! Move! Double run! Move! Footman! Forward! Make a shield wall! See, there might be a better place to camp. Where's the like retreat line? Seems it's like seems like it's pretty far back too. Yeah, like stand here on the ridge. Maybe keep them there. Move. Move. Yeah, that's gonna Infantry. be fine. commercial battles are pre getting pretty fucking old pretty quick. Look, I guess that's the one thing they proved really, the skirmisher cav AI. Their infantry doesn't stand a chance, but these fucking skirmishers, though, man. Get the glaive and just swing it around in the middle of the enemy. Or a war axe, even better. Or an executioner axe. No, don't run away. Come on. They go out of the shield wall. Oh, there are the new troops coming in.
Okay, you definitely look that way. What? Really? Really? Mother f face enemy. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. Might as well play Total War at this point. The archers aren't actually firing at the enemy either. Tarshers. No, never mind. They got some kills. Not that many. It seems like that's the last of them. some horse archers left alive somewhere. just start executing every one of them each and every lord I run into if it's not if he's not our culture yeah sure we'll throw the games this time I do wanna go over there dump these guys in real quick for some money we actually need money more than anything right now what yeah, the Slayer armies. No, never mind. The Azariah declared war on us. Oh, fuck's sakes, man. Actually, might be an easier target, actually. If I can, not bad. That's all the extra stuff we got. Almost 40k out of just selling the loot you get. Definitely pays pretty well to be a fucking um, pillager in this. Get some food. And just like that, we're up to 100k. What's up, KCD? I think that's another 11, right? I 
Not really sure. No, I d light doesn't have timestamps. Okay, we got something better than that, so we're not gonna try and get it. Let's see if we can get some more people in our party. Since we're probably gonna run into like all of them. Cash money records. What's up, Magic? Impact. Oh, this. You know what's funny? Like, you know, all the games I play, or, well, Warband games or Mountain Play games, I'm always up against the fucking skirmish you have. Armies and whatnot. Which are fucking pain in the ass for me. Well, the. Well, I guess my only hope is that these guys are gonna go this way and ignore this area down here. But again, they're probably gonna go for, you know what? You know, the two cities you have, the villages. Okay, those are caravans in our mind. We're not that big of a jackass or looter. There's only 600 of them, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, shit. Well, not really. Not yet, anyway. I did a couple of sieges. I actually did a defensive siege, if you could fucking believe that, too. That was good. Actually pretty fun, too. Enemy just stuck on the siege towers, not being able to push through. Since their army is shit and mine is better. Oh, well, at least they have less... Less skirmish cav than the other guys. Okay, you lose formation. Actually, you attack. These aren't actually skirmishers. They're calf. Oh my god. No, never mind. They pull out. They pulled out the bows. Fuck them. And I was here thinking they're gonna go into honorable melee combat. No, they're just gonna run away. Fucking you. You gotta give the looters credit. They have big balls, man. <laughs> Play your truck simulator? Well, I don't really wanna. Actually. There's one of those games I would actually like play. I can't remember which one. I know there's a lot of those simulators. I would find one interesting. That's right, Mud Runners. Because that game's a fucking amazing. Like even the, in the tutorial, you get stuck in mud for like half an hour. You can't get out of it. That's my kind of game to get pissed off at it and like be stuck in one position for like two days. Or one on one map, I guess, on one trail. Or whatever they call it in that game. But after this, we're gonna do the siege panicked. So you can stick around for that. Could actually try and get the, you know, outright siege with all the siege equipment that actually destroyed their walls. That might actually take some time, but. I could do it. 
Well, I guess if you... I could do it if another army doesn't show up, I guess. That's gonna screw us over. I can deal with one. I don't think I can deal with two of them. Okay, infantry line is kind of breaking on the left. There, guys. See, this is a problem with the AI in this game. They start retreating whenever a couple, you know get they get more spawns in. Look, they literally they literally can't decide. What? Are they just gonna stand there now? Definitely have to fix that up. Where the fuck are they going now? Oh shit. I hate. When you miss with this weapon, with this long, long of our fucking range, I mean, literally. The worst thing that can happen <laughs> means you're shit. There you guys stand there, form a line again. Okay, maybe I should actually watch out. See with 14? No, that's not me. That's the mount. We are absorbing a lot of damage though. Didn't I tell you to go into loose formation? That's fucking loose formation? What? I definitely should have installed the RTS camera, man. wall right now. Move a little bit back too. Maybe I could fast track a siege, but I'm not completely sure do you get the no uh, do you get siege ladders by default. Or not. That's that's an issue. I don't actually know if they're gonna spawn in or not. Yeah, because if they don't, I don't think I, we can actually like get onto the walls. I guess we could have to bash the um, the doors or gates wide open, which is gonna take a while. Another cool thing is that the archers actually pick up the ammunition too. Oh yeah, that's one thing we talked about bottom, right? In Warband at some point. Like getting voice command the troops, so that would be so fucking cool. So you can actually like tell the archers to stop firing or the infantry to start firing and whatnot. Okay, key out of shield wall, they only have the archers now. I guess that's possible, since I did like MSI Dragon Center, or they have like a voice recognition, voice control thing mod, which apparently works with Battlefield, I think Battlefield 5 or something. So it's definitely being done in games, although for this it's probably gonna be like 10 years until someone figures out how to mod it in. Kill them all, don't leave any of them alive. I'm 
maybe it's not Battlefield 5. I'm not sure. I'd have to. You can actually Google it right now and see. Well, actually, yeah, I could. Um, let's see. MSI voice control. Oh no, no, it's not for um, not for Battlefield, but for the. Um, Not the division game, but for for the uh, Ghost Recon things, the new ones, the like Wildlands, whatever that game is called, I forgot. Works on that one. Someone died on the battle. Oh, I think that's one of our guys, right? Uh, I don't know. You can never tell. Shitload of prisoners. I wish I knew who, which ones are the most expensive ones. Soldiers. Also, wish we can bring more prisoners with us. Damn, these guys look fucking fancy, man. Okay. Now, let's try and finish the siege. If we didn't lose that many, 197 plus 53. Although we do have two guys in common still. Or never mind, one of, one of them is going to run away. Refuse that. Okay, let's see. Let's actually see. Maybe I should build these two first. The battering ram and the siege tower. Yeah, maybe I should build those two first. Though they do have ballistas, which are pretty easy. They can build them pretty fast. It's gonna take a while to destroy them. They're already gonna bring in, They're already bringing in another army too. Let's see. I need to build these two first, then we'll see if we can manage to actually siege down the walls. Okay, we got two. We need to build the trebuchets. This is gonna take a while since I don't have a lot of engineering, but we're almost to 50. What do we get with 50? Most likely to be hit while bombarding settlements. Have 10% more HP in missions as well. I'm not sure which one of these are better. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to build that. We're gonna destroy it almost instantly too. But that should be good as long as no other army jumps in or runs in. Which hopefully they're f not. Never mind. Look at that, they already saw one of the trebuchets. And it did fuck all. Well, more or less. Okay, let's see. Engineering. Range siege engines are less likely to be hit while bombarding settlements. <laughs> or range siege engines have 10% more hit points. Settlement provides one extra catapult at the beginning of the sea. I'm not actually sure about these two. Maybe 10% more siege? Oh, I'm deceitful. 
How the fuck am I deceit deceitful? See, you're deceitful if you capture a man and kill him off. Like you said you are gonna do. <laughs> oh yeah, the, those definitely aren't gonna survive. Especially since they're not actually attacking the ballistas. Okay, so you're, if you're here still, let's do the assault. Oh. This, oh, this is going to be a shitty one. Wait, I already took this castle. <laughs> I guess, never mind, I guess. Right. I do need to... Like, split up my troops a little bit better. Okay, so 81 of you are gonna go up here. I'm gonna have some archers. We actually have a deployment zone. Cool. Yeah, archers actually do pick up uh, the arrows. The enemy, like, fire at you. Which is pretty nice. Okay, we're gonna need one of them on this thing. If I could actually... I guess that says some to it, right? Okay, you guys stay on those. Let's see. We're gonna need... To, we're gonna place you in reserve. And the guys at seven, place them in reserve here. As for the archers... We don't have that many of them. Um, not really a good place to place them. Man, I forgot to change my weapons, but maybe I should keep the glaive. That's gonna get me killed. Now let's see if the AI actually like goes to the positions I told them to. There's the infantry. Looks like they do listen to you at least. Yep. Oh, this ain't gonna go well. At least we can pick up the pilum. Right. Jesus Christ, those ballistas are gonna wreck them. Alright, I need to tell those guys to actually, like, move up the ladders. Reuse the ladders. And the archers are doing fuck all again. That's nice. But they... they, they Oh, come on, surely they have a shot on them. Okay, I guess I'm gonna move you up. I'm not gonna shoot at anything. Really should have installed the RTS camera, man. This. Yeah, archers don't really do much. Which is disappointing. Maybe I should pl shit. Maybe I should place them like this. Never mind. Is this uh, this is what I want to do? Place them like this so they can maybe fire at those up there. Yep. See, is the siege tower at the walls yet? Yeah, almost. Okay, you guys get up here. And 
why the fuck can't I tell them to like actually use the siege tower? Of course, I still have the problem of like going up one ladder, not to all of them. Which is... Nice. Like, th that's the same problem we had back in Warband. I mean... Like, you guys come up here. Why? Why are you joining the siege uh, or the bathroom ground? Go up the fucking ladders, you jackasses. You wanna go up there, maybe? I guess not. Okay, now they will. might take a while not as long as in like a normal warband or not normal warband but in warband being stuck on ladders like a moron for half an, hour, half an hour or maybe come on can I jump it yes I can nice Oh shit. Okay, there's definitely something wrong with the textures, that's for sure. What the f... Why are they trying to get back down? What the fuck, man? Okay, you definitely sh should just deploy your troops and let them auto deploy your troops and let them do whatever. And it's apparently, if you do like tell them to actually do something else, they're not gonna besiege the settlement at all. Like they got up to the up to the gate and destroyed it, but they didn't actually. Destroy them like one in, in there, the inner gate, or even try to get in. I'm just standing there getting shot at. I should see if there's the, there actually is a mechanism to actually open the doors. Probably not though, right? Okay, actually everyone just stack now. And I didn't use my peel. Maybe they did break through. Okay, apparently, uh, that, well, that would be cool if they actually like made it so there's a, like a lever you'd pill to open. No, the gate, gate was closed, so they definitely didn't push through. Like if there was a lever, you can like, you know, flank inside and what whatnot like I usually do and 
get it get the gate open that would be a pretty kill but maybe that's something the mothers can actually get done at some point uh we're gonna devastate I don't want to be the owner of this. Let's go to the dungeon and donate all the prisoners in so we can get some... Let's see how many... How much influence we're going to get from this. 227. 256. Well, not that bad. Only problem now is we have a lot more enemies in front of the castle. And there's an army coming in. Wait here, see what happens. Well, that's another thing, like the AI doesn't usually go for castles unless there literally is no one in there defending it. Well, except from the you know garrison and militia. They usually they just ignore them. Unless they have actually like a ton more troops. Where are you running off to? Soldiers! Infantry! Cavalry! Inf Cavalry! Troops! Footmen! Hold fire! Okay, you hold your fire. Infantry! Oh, whoop. Maybe some people would get bored of my playstyle, but you do really need to position your troops well. In any game. Oh, that fucking peasant is that a looter, whatever he is. What a fucking skirmish a calf. The pain of my existence, really. No, don't look that way. No shit. You need to spread the archers a little bit. I guess I could just, you know, manually tell them where to stand. That's gonna work. Right, and I would check to actually do these actual do these like um, signify guys. Actually give morale bonuses and whatnot. Don't you know how to fucking hold up a shield if you're not in shield wall, you motherfucking dickheads? Thanks Roy for the three lemons. Let's move the horseman over there. Get them to use their pila. Since the enemy is just moving in closer and closer, why the hell not? Although it does look like you need to spread them out for them to actually use use the pila effectively. That is. Oh, that's gonna be a flank of the century for their cab. And why aren't you firing? 